tumama ay tin sa buong mundo. Mamaya, makasama natin si Acting Cabinet Secretary mag, para magbigay detalye sa bago. Sa usaping bakuna, ay 32,022 nasa halos 74 na ang naka-first dose habang nasa may git silyo ng fully vaccinated ayon sa National COVID-19 John Dashboard. Nasa in million naman ang naka-booster shots. Overall, nasa 150 million ang total doses ad sa mga chikiting na edad lima hang labing isang taong gulang nasa may git 2 million na ang fully vaccinated. Alang ang mga batang 12 hanggang 17 anyos na sa 9.3 million ang fully vaccinated at 2022. Ting mga lolo at lola na sa 6.7 million ang fully vaccinated seniors at May 30. 2022. Ayun po naman, mga kababayan, natin sa MPC, uh, tayo po ay swerte at makakasama natin si Cabinet Secretary Melvin Matibag. Magandang tanghali sa iyo, Cabsec. Magandang tanghali, Sec. Martin, at sa lahat po na makakasama natin at uh, subaybay sa programong ito ngayon. Magandang tanghali po. Magtungo tayo ngayon sa mga tanong na Malacanang Press Corps, Newsec Rocky. Yes, uh, good afternoon, Sakin, and good afternoon, Kamsek. Ang una pong uh, tanong natin, uh, mula kay Sam Edemilia ng uh, Business Mirror, or Secretary, ilan po kaya ang pending legislations na currently ni Rivas para do po sa possible signing ni President Duterte na nasabing legislations? Sam, I cannot give you figure, but as soon as there are documents which are ready for release, we will share. Thank you, Secretary Martin. For ASEC Secretary uh, Kabsek uh, Matibag, ano daw po ang uh, napag-usapan sa cabinet meeting? Uh, similar questions din yun ng DCBB. Tanong pa rin po yan ni Sam Medina Business Mirror, Secretary Matibag. Well, uh, kahapon yung cabinet meeting namin started around 4.30 p.m. Nangyari, nag-report yung mga cabinet clusters nung mga nagawa. Ano yung mga pwedeng indoor sa next administration na ipagpatuloy. So, lahat ng security, no, lahat ng cabinet cluster, security access cluster, economic development, yung sa, sa cutting infrastructure, people sa participation, lahat ay uh, yung ginawa over the six, uh, yung six years ng ating administrasyon ni Pangulong Duterte. At uh, uh, maganda naman yung report at napatunayan yung mga ginagawa katulad ng what's going on 30 legacy. Ganon din yung mga nabanggit kay Pangulong Duterte. So, yun po yung naging direction at uh, si Presidente at sa mga mem member ng gabinete sa kanilang oras upang samahan siya sa kanyang panunungkulan ng anim na taon. Oh, thank you, Secretary Matibag. Secretary Martin, ang susunod na magtatanong ba si Pia Ranyada ng Rappler. Hello? Yes, um, good afternoon, uh, sir. First question ko, just to clarify, no, yung cabinet meeting last night, is it correct is the last cabinet meeting under the Duterte administration? Pia, can I uh, allow uh, my cabinet secretary Matibag to answer the question? Well, uh, Sec. Martin, ayun naman yung naging pasabi na it as cabinet meeting of the Duterte administration, yung full cabinet meeting, it mean that we will be stopped working after that. Uh, may mga bilin directives pa rin ng presidente. 
syempre kung kinakailangan na magkaroon din in the next 30 days, gagawin naman natin yun. But uh, uh, as night, yun yung usapan. At uh, kaya nga, after nung cabinet meeting, the president treated the uh, cabinet secretary si Gluters to a dinner. And a uh, uh, moment ng major relax and tribute to the cabinet secretaries also. Uh, and then, Secretary, you mentioned May endorsements of recommendation administration. It, will these endorsements be formalized in a single area to the next admin, or it, will it be the, the usual department endorsement of recommendations? Yeah, yes, uh, ano yan, meron namang transition team na internal for each department, so ang maging mga industry uh, individual uh, department na sa transition team na based on the opportunity seven sa ES uh, uh, Bidaldea, more on the schedule yan, pag uh, schedule, the venue, kung paano yung uh, inaugurate. So, and all other matters na involve yung office of the president. But as part meant, uh, yun na rin yung practice. And uh, we have bris already ng mga transition na uh, team internally and uh, ready sa na dun sa next administration. Hmm. Given this, Sabana, po bang tayong date of a meeting between President Duterte and President Il? La, wala, wala pong uh, pag-usapan, right? but uh, I'm sure, sabi ko nga, sigurado sa June 30 man kasi that will be the formal turnover of uh, from this to the administration of President-elect Bongbong Marcos. Okay, for me, um, sir, kasi every SONAS, binabanggit ni President Duterte yung last uh, National Land Use Act, and um, until now, hindi pa. So, could we just get an explanation from Malacanang what what could have been or the, the failure to pass this very critical piece of legislation? Well, maraming legislation, hindi lang naman yun yung hindi natag to remember. We have to be mindful na hindi naman yung lang nanggagaling yung uh, effort to pass a law. Meron sa joint effort of the uh, executive in the, in the department of our government, no, yung branches na yan. So, ang ipig ko ba di nangyari, I, I, I'm sorry but I cannot uh, not PB to that from the time that I started. But uh, I'm sure if it's not administration, it will be properly endorsed by the outgoing administration. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Rocky? Uh, thank you. Uh, susunod po magtatanong sa Kedari Andanar mula kay uh, Tanong MJ Blanca Flor ng Daily Tribune. Uh, what is the President's birthday wish for Mayor Sara? Did the President come after the proclamation? The wishes for our Vice President-elect health and success in her role as official of the land. Second question, what was the President's mood uh, during last night's uh, cabinet meeting? Ano ba, ano po daw ang sabihin sa mga cabinet members? The President's uh, upbeat last night, he expressed gratitude to and present cabinet officials for helping him run. And he looks forward to uh, his retirement of our city and spending more time with uh, family and his grandchildren. From uh, Ivan Mayrina and JMA News, for Secretary and Kamsek Matibag, please describe to us yun daw pong old, old na sabi yun na po, baka may dagdag lang pa kayo at the cabinet gathering last. Who was in attendance? How would you describe the overall uh, of the event? Uh, Secretary and the Secretary. Obsec, yeah. Melvin, yeah. Well, uh, like what the Sec Martin mentioned, ma mas uh, upbeat siya. In, in fact, he was uh, gracious enough to render some songs para sa mga member ng gabinete and uh, family na eh, parang se celebrating also the victory of the administration, yung mga nagawa ng administration and uh, pasalamat sa mga miyembro ng gabinete na, na, na dating miyembro at sa lumayang miyembro, pati na rin doon sa mga 
uh, spouses ng mga uh, kabinete, yung members ng gabi, kabinet, no? So, masaya to, to, a, to a dinner, tapos si yung Philip Bermonic Orchestra was uh, very gracious to go render tugtog sa sa membro ng kabinete. That, 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 ang laga, wala naman siyang binilin na importante ba, but the commitment ni Presidente na until the last day of work, trabaho pa rin. Kaya kasa, kahit na parang sabi last cabinet na yun, that we stop working from today until uh, uh, mid, uh, mid June 30. So, yun, uh, hanggang mga tuli, picture taking ganyan and even the members of the presidential of the PMS uh, in accommodate the Pangulong Duterte for probably uh, so stayed until mga 12:31 o'clock in the, the morning opo. so Secretary Martin opo mm -hmm. Secretary Matibag uh, tanong pa rin pan Mayrina and kay uh, Secretary Andanar kung nagkaroon daw po si uh, uh, President Duterte last night on final instructions from the president para po sa kanyang as we enter the last 30 days of his administration kung may uh, well, ano na nagpasalamat na lang talaga during the cabinet meeting I repeatedly heard him saying hindi ako nagkamali sa mga pinili ko ng miyembro ng gabinete talaga yung trabaho so uh, we are happy all of us are happy tayo ng uh, journey ng ating uh, Pangulong Duterte. Contribute lahat ng maganda. Uh, marami doon sa mga cabinets will graduate with honors at uh, marami talagang nagawa. So, President is satisfied at masaya doon sa nagawa ng kanyang mga mga. As to the instructions, yun naman yung general instruction na lagi na mahalipinas at maglingkod tayo ng tama. Yun pa rin naman yan, hindi naman nagbabago. Apo. Thank you, Secretary Madibag. From uh, Tuesday noon, will be Secretary Andanar, uh, although nasagot mo na yung first mm. question niya for cabinet meeting, ang second question niya, wala na rin bang talk na gagawin ng Pangulo hanggang bago siya bumaba sa Pudel by June? Wala namang binabanggit na wala nang talk to... Kaya kami ay nakaantabay lamang sa instruction or instructions ng Office of the President pag the talk to the people uh, matter, kung meron ito o wala. But I, I believe we, have, we still have, uh, still has a country to run until June 30, 12 noon. Okay, thank you, Secretary Martin. Thank you, Secretary Matiba. Yun lang po mong question mo lang sa Malacanang press call. Thank you, MPC. Maraming salamat, Yusek Rocky, at salamat din, uh, Cabsec. Uh, taabangan namin ang iyong uh, closing uh, Duterte legacy the final report uh, Salamat Sag Martin, salamat po sa inyong lahat magandang tangali po So much the members of the Malacanang Press Corps, dito po nagkatapang press briefing, see you again on our next briefing and healthy everyone, tandaan basta't laging handa amasama kaya natin ang anumang pa. Libre ang pag-aaral ko sa kolehiyo. Ang tatay ko, nagbigay ng libre. Wala sa tatay ko. Mga tulay kalsada, ating pasta na gawa nun. Ang tatay ko, sinagot ang hospital at ko. Sino yung tatay ko? Yung tatay ko. Yung tatay ko. Ah, ang tatay ko. Tatay Digong. Si Tatay Digong. Si Tatay Digong. Si Tatay Digong. Buhay ang malayang Pilipinas. Anong na taong serbisyo may tatak ng tapang at pinuuna ang ating kaligtasan, seguridad at kapakanan.